While 2021 wasn't quite the comeback year we all hoped it would be, the Vanderpump Dogs team stayed masked up and hard at work, furthering our foundation's mission to build a more humane world for dogs. Domestically, we've continued to work with local shelters to save as many dogs in need as we can, and to date we have rescued, rehomed and rehabilitated over 2,200 dogs domestically. In 2021, we continued our life-saving medical initiatives and we were able to provide 23 dogs with critical procedures, including 14 severe dental surgeries, removals of cancerous masses and necessary amputations, eye surgeries, perineal hernia repairs, and so many more. One of our favorite stories is our dog of the year, Diana. In the spring, we rescued Diana and her four premature puppies. Diana was tragically hit by a car in Mexico whilst pregnant and went into shock from the accident, delivering four puppies prematurely. After taking Diana to Mash Vet for an immediate evaluation, we learned Diana needed her left rear leg amputated right away due to a severe bone infection while waiting to have her right hip corrected due to being dislocated. She was on so many medications after surgery that Diana was unable to nurse her babies, so they had to be separated from her and bottle-fed. All four puppies survived and have since been adopted. A miracle. Post-surgery, Diana was fully dependent on our team as she couldn't walk, she couldn't go potty or even stand, so she had to learn to walk on her own again. In fact, it took months for her to be able to climb a single step. After six hard months, Diana regained her confidence that she had lost during her accident and amputation and has since found her forever family and was just adopted. Many of our rescues have faced extreme cruelty and abuse before arriving at our rescue center, like the 10 rescued Maltese that were all victims of a horrific hoarding situation where they lived in terrible conditions at a breeding house, left neglected by their previous owner. They were in severe need of medical and dental treatment. They all were treated and adopted quickly after sharing their heartbreaking story and are now living their best lives. In other cases, we have rescued dogs like Roxy, who came to us with previous physical injuries that needed treatment. Poor Roxy was previously in an accident that left her with a chronically fractured leg that healed incorrectly. Due to lack of blood supply, it could not be corrected. Her only option was to have an amputation that would allow her to be pain-free and become properly mobile again. And since then, she's become the cutest tripod anyone has ever seen and is now pain-free, living her best life and as fast as ever with her new dog dad by her side. We were also able to provide every dog that needed it with non-surgical yet essential veterinary medical care. One of our favorite stories is Katie. When we first saw Katie at the shelter, she had almost no use for back legs. An MRI at MASH revealed she had an intervertebral disc herniation. With the help of prednisone and lots of TLC and strict crate rest, Katie is now well enough to begin physical therapy to regain the strength she had lost in her legs. Even like our precious little Macy, one of our most heartbreaking cases of abuse that left her with permanent damage, causing her to wear diapers every day, we knew it would take a special family to give her the love and care she's always deserved. And she was adopted by perhaps one of the most amazing families in the world, the Windsor family. It is so rewarding to help these precious dogs recover from severe injuries, illnesses, painful skin conditions, to even the emotional trauma that is inflicted on these dogs and providing them with a second chance at life is what we dedicate our lives to. None of this would be possible without our caring team of staff, foundation partners, fosters and volunteers who help our dogs recover from neglect and abuse and love them through their journeys of healing. We have also been able to continue our nursery program in 2021. We have adapted our nursery program into a network of some very special and generous fosters that help us care for these puppies without the expense of an off-site nursery. So far in 2021, we have cared for and rehomed five new mummies, seven litters and 35 puppies through our nursery, including our famous Paola, who gave birth to 13 beautiful puppies. Our China shelter was a huge success against 
all the odds after being forced to move out from the shelter that housed all our Yulin survivors due to the city's new regulations because of COVID-19. We were able to break ground and create a new shelter with the wonderful help of our international partner, Dog Yo-Yo Global Initiatives. Now our new shelter is the new home for our current and future Yulin Dog Meat Festival survivors. In addition to China, we were able to successfully help support and provide aid to other countries such as Venezuela, Peru and Puerto Rico. And this year, with your help, we were able to provide dogs, medical treatments, food, beds and our staff's cleaning supplies. Countries like Venezuela and Puerto Rico were so drastically short on supplies due to the scarcity of products from the effects of the pandemic. But together with your help, we were able to continue to help provide and save dogs in these countries that have had little to no help. Our Vanderpont's veteran program has continued to thrive and grow this year. Earlier in the year, we successfully paired our second Vanderpump veterans duo, Andrew and Lenny. Andrew, who served eight years in the US Coast Guard and suffered the negative impacts of post-traumatic stress disorder. In the spring, he was paired with Lenny, a dog we trained in our program to be a service dog, who has helped Andrew in his journey of overcoming the negative effects of PTSD. We are currently working with Apollo and Jax, two rescue and rehabilitated dogs who are training to become service dogs to veterans who are also in need of true companionship. We are looking forward to their journey. This year, we were shocked and heartbroken by the sudden loss of our dear friend, Congressman Elsie Hastings, who spearheaded and helped pass HRS 401, a resolution urging all nations to outlaw the dog and cat meat trade because of Congressman Hastings and Congressman Vern Buchanan's efforts. He will always be remembered and loved by our foundation as a true hero to animals everywhere. After two years of not being able to have events due to the worldwide pandemic, we were able to have our fifth annual World Dog Day event with the gracious help of the city of West Hollywood, gathering together safely outside, celebrating dogs and fundraising for those furry friends in need was such an amazing accomplishment that our team was thrilled to be able to execute. Looking to 2022, we are excited to keep our life-saving efforts, imperative medical initiatives and other programs helping us to change the lives of dogs around the world. So on behalf of the Vanderpump Dog Foundation, Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for all the help, the love and support you've all given to us to help us continue our mission. We couldn't do any of this without your support and it means the world to us. So we will see you in 2022. Have a safe and happy holidays from our family to yours.